right there in the middle. Casper Ruud, Yannick Sinner, because we talked about Annette Contivate and the race to Guadalajara. There is still a massive race to Turin right now, Tracy. Casper Ruud is in the seventh spot. Yannick Sinner is looking to make the top eight. Only 180 points separate Sinner from Ruud. And it's very unusual that there's so much more than just this match, just this tournament that we're talking about. The players know that. It's in the back of their mind. They want to get to uh, the year-end championships. And Sinner talked about it. He said, I'm, I'm so young. If I don't make it this year, then I'll probably make it next year or the year after. He's trying to take pressure off of himself. But that is a really enticing matchup because Rude, we thought of him as a clay court player. He won those three consecutive clay court t uh, tournaments at the beginning, uh, in the middle of the year. He's starting to play really well on hard courts as well. But Sinner, he's looking great, Paul, indoors. I just love his game. And yeah, yeah. It's, he's been playing great tennis, he's right? He's such an athlete. That's oh, amazing. And, and for Rude, we've mostly been talking about on the clay. He's getting comfortable on the hard courts. When Sinner was leaving Indian Wells, I actually saw him going out of the driveway when I was coming in. And I said, what's the rest of your year look like? And he goes, oh, well, we'll see. You know, I kind of like to make the year-end championship. So if I'm close, I'm going to keep playing. And... But it's been, you know, but it's been a good year and we'll see how it goes. He was very like, it wasn't about pressure. It was about opportunity. You know, it wasn't like he was, if he didn't make it, he was going to be heartbroken. And I think that's how he's playing, winning the title last week. And again, this week swinging so freely, he is so good indoors. I mean, he is so good without any elements. He's good anyway, but without the elements, he's brutal. That's going to be a fun one to watch tomorrow to see how Rude handles the flat pace of center. It's going to be a fun match. Exactly, because Rude is a beast physically. Yep. His forehand is massive, so much firepower. He is incredible on the defense, but we know that Sinner has so much penetration on his ground strokes, backhand, forehand. He's been serving extremely well, hardly losing points on his first serve. Who wins? Oh, I'm going with Sinner. Me too. All right. Two votes for Yannick Sinner. We shall see. <laughs>